Choosing to upgrade the operating system on an Apple unsupported iMac, such as this iMac 27 inch late 2012, with the help of OpenCore Legacy Patcher, is a beautiful way to give new life and functionality to this almost 13 year old device, which would have been rendered almost useless without such an effective patching process. There are, however, some instances where the normal functionality of a Mac device is adversely affected during the upgrade or after a few days of use following the upgrade. In this video, I will be showing you how to troubleshoot and resolve some of the common functionality issues that may arise during or after a successful Mac OS upgrade using OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Some of the issues a user might encounter include an infinite boot loop, a blank lock screen or wallpaper display, open core patcher quitting unexpectedly, apps refusing to install, and Wi-Fi or Bluetooth not responding, just to name a few common issues. Some of the solutions I will be sharing in this video would be helpful in resolving more than one of the aforenamed issues. The solutions do not need to be performed in any particular order, but it is best to begin with the simplest solutions first. So, here are some solutions for each of the issues. An infinite boot loop may occur during the upgrade to one of the latest Mac operating systems. And when this occurs, the Mac device would seem stuck on the same screen for several hours with no evident progress of the installation. This type of error is common when attempting to upgrade a really old Mac device to one of the more current Mac operating systems like Ventura, Sonoma, or Sequoia. If you experience this during an upgrade, the first and easiest step to take would be to power off the Mac device, wait for a few minutes, then power it back on. On most occasions, this is all that you need to do to resolve the issue, and the installation would naturally proceed to a successful completion. However, if this does not work, another solution would be to turn off your device and take out the RAM modules and clean any dust buildup on them and on the RAM slots. This is a helpful solution if you are working on a device that comes along with removable memory modules such as older MacBooks, 27-inch iMacs, and prior 2012 21.5 inch IMAX. This is a relatively easy and effective solution to get your device up and running again as expected. If you experience a blank lock screen or wallpaper after a successful upgrade, this might be due to an absence of the latest open core root patch on your device. In such a case, it would be necessary to connect your device to the internet using an Ethernet cable and head over to the Dotania OpenCore Legacy Patcher website to download the latest version of the patcher. Once downloaded, proceed to install it to your device. In some cases, the patcher would notice that you are running without the latest patches installed and would prompt you to run the latest patch on your device. If this does not happen, you can proceed to open the app and select the option to run the latest version of the patch on your device. From my personal experience, it is best if you are able to see this message pop up right before the installation. 
it shows that you are getting the very latest patch downloaded from the internet and installed to your device. After the installation, simply restart your device and you should be up and running with a functional lock screen and wallpaper. If you are experiencing the Open Core Patcher app quitting unexpectedly, new apps refusing to install or the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functions not responding, trying out some of the previously mentioned solutions might help in resolving some or all of these issues. However, if this issue still persists, another helpful solution would be to reset the Envira. This solution involves restarting the Mac device and holding down on the command, option, P and R keys on the keyboard as the system boots up. If you are using a Windows keyboard, the command key is the Windows key, while the option key is the Alt key. Keep holding down on the keys and allow the system to repeat the reboot cycle a few times before releasing the keys. Allow the system to boot up and proceed to test it out. If all else fails, the final result would be to back up your files and perform a fresh installation of the last known working version of macOS to your device. Doing this will help you determine if you are dealing with a faulty hardware or an incompatible software. When performing this step, it would be necessary to uninstall OpenCore Legacy Patcher from your device if it was already installed. For this, simply head over to the Dotenia OpenCore Legacy Patcher website, click on Getting Started, click on Download and Build macOS Installer, Click on Open Core Legacy Patcher Release Apps. Under Assets, click on Open Core Patcher Uninstaller.pkg. Run it to perform the uninstallation of Open Core Legacy Patcher. For a fresh macOS installation, you might need to search online and download a compatible macOS for your device and create a bootable USB for your macOS installation. If all goes well, you should be up and running with an Apple compatible macOS on your Mac device and be able to make the necessary plans for any future upgrade. Such plans might include a RAM upgrade, HDD to SSD upgrade, or a graphics card upgrade. Such upgrades have been known to improve the quality of upgrading an unsupported Mac device using OpenCore Legacy Patcher. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you did, kindly leave a like and a comment. For other helpful OpenCore Legacy Patcher upgrade videos, check in the video description. And do subscribe to the channel for more useful content just like this. Thank you for watching and do have a blessed and excellent day. Bye for now.